Welcome back to News 8 Midday. You know, video games were a $16 billion industry last year, but have you ever wished that you could create your own video game? Yeah, because there's a lot of money in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Walt Zirko promises to show us how to do it for free. For free, if I can talk over what's about to happen. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, well, we'll give it a try. <laughs> Before we get to that intriguing topic, let us first focus some attention on your home or no to introduce you to some very clever software that takes the mystery out of creating interactive applications. It's called Scratch, and if you've ever been curious about how computers work, this is for you. Yeah, this looks and sounds like Pac-Man, but it's Pac-Tag, and it was developed using Scratch. Scratch is a powerful programming language developed at the MIT Media Lab, but don't let that scare you away. The development environment is a colorful screen that lets you just drop and drag elements to assemble your masterpiece. Your movable characters are sprites, and Scratch comes with its own cast of characters, although you can add your own. Just load up one of the samples to see how it's done, like this interactive breakdancer. Or how about some dancing robots? Within 15 minutes, and without referring to the instruction guide, I was able to construct this simple animation using Scratch. As I said earlier, Scratch is a free download available for Windows or Mac computers, and even if you, you don't have any use for it, you might know some kids or teachers who can benefit. Now, it is educational, but it's a lot of fun. You'll find the links now at WFAA.com in the Computer Corner section. We'll have a full report and a video replay of this week's featured items online a little bit later today. You know, it's kind of fun, Walt, because I remember, you know, growing up on Atari, and now look where we are, and you can make your own video games. You can actually make video games which are more sophisticated, a lot more sophisticated than what the original Atari games were, and even go beyond that. You can almost do anything you want. It just depends on how well you understand the programming language. And, you know, when I say programming language, that sounds kind of scary to people, but it really is simple. It's just you drop, you drag, you drop, you add a little comment, and you see exactly what happens right after you do it so you can tell whether it's successful or not. So you can test it as you go along. I can see a lot of people now trying to get their hand in this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I recommend it. It's fun. Have you done it? Yeah, well, I built that one yeah, at the end one. there, uh, and that took me, so? and I haven't gotten very far hmm. beyond that, but I, I plan to, to try it. Yeah, give it a try. Okay, okay well, thanks a lot. Good You're to welcome. see you. We'll see you next Wednesday. Right. Well, just ahead here on